I started putting together a video a little while ago on the things in watch media and social media that really frustrate me. And then as I was looking at my notes and thinking about how I was going to do the talking, I began to think I'm being more than a little preachy, more than a little holier than thou, and worse, I suspect more than just a little hypocritical. I decided to go ahead with the video anyway, but to really concentrate and own that last bit. So what I want to talk about today are the things that I see happening in social media by both creators and commenters that really annoy me that I fear I do myself sometimes. Okay, so the first of these things is reviewing the wearer, not the watch. Sometimes you can look at a watch and you don't like it very much, and it can be hard to articulate why. Sometimes you look at a watch and you realize it's not for you, and you're trying to think who it's for, but if you don't like it very much, you want to be a little bit negative. Sometimes it's hard to describe why you want something or don't want something. And so rather than talk more about the watch and yourself, it's easier to sort of slag off at the other person. Finally, sometimes there's watches that you want to take down a peg or two and you don't have anything in the watch to have a go at. So you know what you're going to do? You're going to kick the wearer in the head. And you see that happen a lot. What am I talking about? This is when we describe a watch as the poor man's watch, a banker's watch, um, a footballer's watch. These are all times where the reviewer has at best got lazy and at worst got horribly dickish and snobbish, stopped reviewing the watch and started reviewing the wearer. And it really is a sign of, as I said, at best laziness and at worst snobbishness. Neither is acceptable and we should stop doing both. The second sin is that when you get that uncritical, unthinking, reflexive accusation that this watch is a knockoff of this watch. I came really close to this myself when considering the latest uh, Tudor uh, Black Bay Pro GMT, where it was on the tip of my tongue to come out and say, this is an obviously a knockoff of the earlier Rolex. Now, it is clearly a homage, but there are enough details, there's enough history in there to justify why they did it and also to show that the watch is somehow different. Now, I still don't love it. There's a whole bunch of reasons why, but to accuse it of being a knockoff wouldn't have been an educated opinion. That would have been a base prejudice. And that's something I see lots of people do routinely without slowing down and thinking about it. People are routinely utterly ignorant of the history of the watch that they're criticizing, often ignorant of the history of the watch that they're also praising. People routinely don't understand how the design process works and think that any watch that looks vaguely like another watch must have, by definition, been a knockoff of that previous one, not realizing that's not how design works. And the last one is people just don't slow down and look at details. They form opinions, or in fact, again, not opinions, they form prejudices after looking at a watch for like two seconds or less, dig themselves a, a position and then refuse to do the research, refuse to think, refuse to countenance the fact that their prejudice might not be accurate and so double down on it. As I said, these are all things that are really close to the surface. It's kind of how our minds work. It's, it's a quick and easy way of getting to an answer. And it's something that I'm certainly aware that I can fall into. It's something I actively stop myself from doing. I deliberately slow down and I wish more people would. And the last thing that really annoys me is the single biggest and most common lie on social media. And that is the comment that says, I don't care. 
It just happens so many times. Watch Gringa did a video recently talking about how she loves Rolex and, and all the reasons why. And you know what? I don't. And I'm one of the people that she was talking to when she said, look, if you don't like Rolex, you don't have to tell me. You cannot watch this video. But in my mind, I'm reaching for the keyboard. I held myself back because I try to slow down and try to think and say, you know what? I don't have to voice my opinion. I don't have to tell someone I don't care and I wish they you know, didn't talk about this all the time. Because you know what? It actually means I care. And that's why I say it's a lie. If you have to write a comment, any comment at all, you care. If you write the comment that you don't care, then you are almost certainly, no, you are absolutely lying to the people you write that comment to. And I would say 99 times out of 100, you're probably lying to yourself. You do care. You care deeply. My videos will routinely get a thousand or more views. My videos will routinely get somewhere between 15 and 50 comments. So what's that? Say 50 out of a thousand viewers will care enough, will be bothered enough, engaged enough to break out their keyboard and type something. 50 out of a thousand. Every now and then, one of those comments is, I don't care. Bullshit. <laughs> you know who didn't care? The 900, the 909, what is it? 950 people odd that watched the video and didn't comment. They didn't care. If you wrote something, you did. And I must admit, it's just really, it's, it's on one hand, it's a little bit amusing, but it is generally kind of frustrating to see people put that much energy into things that they apparently don't care about. So they're the three behaviors I see on social media like all the time that really annoy me. And the reason why I'm kind of happy calling them out is because they're me. I'm really close to doing these things. I I feel the urge to describe a watch by the person I think who'd wear it. I feel the urge to very quickly just say that one watch looks like another watch without having to bother doing the research or slow down and pay attention to details. I feel the urge and, and sometimes get really close to writing that comment that says, I don't care about this and no one cares and this isn't important. Um, what about you? What are the things that you really don't like, but secretly worry you do or have to hold yourself back from doing. I don't want to hear the holier than thou, this is what I, that other people do that frustrates me. That's, you know what, that's just cheap. What I want to know, what are the things that kind of annoy you that you worry you might do yourself? Anyway, I've been Pete McConville. This has been Not So Obvious Watchers. I'll see you later. Bye.